after learning that the dominion of the Philadelphia world champion Phillies was largely confined to walloping spheroids with wooden bats and consuming cheesesteaks, the spacemen resumed their presidential pursuit in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. It was there that they sought to witness the imminent crowning of the new leader they had been looking for, the person with perhaps the broadest political power in the world, the President of the United States of America. The spacemen grew nervous and excited by the knowledge that their mission on Earth approached its climax, and that the strange planet and country they had grown to tolerate over the past three months and 7,000 miles was on the edge of its patriotic seat, with no seatbelt. Spacemen, we have a problem. Our hero's mission suddenly took a new urgency. Having lost all transmission with their home planet after the demolition of their spacecraft, they had to devise a low-fidelity method of communicating the election status to their leaders in the sky. If they failed, they might not ever be allowed to return home. They go to work immediately. Using a pressurized tank filled with helium, they fill a series of latex balloons and then combine them with LEDs in the creation of two high-flying illuminated barometers. One was red, the other blue. Both were created from party supplies. Party on, spacemen? Spaceship Excellent monitored the election results closely, adding one glowing orb for each ten electoral votes, red for the Republican candidate John McCain and blue for the Democrat candidate Barack Obama. The spacemen grew excited and anxious as their barometer began to ascend into the sky. Would the mothership be able to see the jerry-rigged space pole? Would their party lines be blurry from the interference in the atmosphere? Would the lines become intertwined and lack definitive distinction? To assuage their own concerns, the spacemen counseled themselves with the concerns of the Earthlings. So, so what's everybody so excited about? What's going on today? Freaking Obama! He needs to win because this country needs change. And he was just inspiring a lot of people from um, all around America, you know, black, white, Chinese, but especially um, a lot of folks that's um, struggling or middle class. What do you think makes a good leader? Um, someone who has good oral communication skills, they have good ideas, they know how to lead people. Um, patience at this point, I think. Patience, um, the ability to talk through problems and not immediately send bombs and start a war. What are the most important issues that he will face as a leader of this country? Definitely the economy. Um, we're not doing so good right now, so hopefully he has some good plans. Um, the environment and education, those are my top three. The biggest issue is the economy and restoring ourselves on a global, our global strength. Is the United States a leader in this world? We are, but we're losing that position fast. Right. We're losing that position very fast. How important um, in the history of this country is this election? Extremely. On so many levels. This is money. What, what makes it so important? Man, um, the fact that our economy is in the freaking trash right now, but she's done such a horrible job. Um, the fact that a black man is running for president. Even if McCain got in there, and he's a Republican, it's a big mess and a big hole that um, the Bush administration has built for the next president of the United States of America. We do want peace. We, we are America that's saying it's a change, we want peace. We are like to help out other countries along with first helping ourselves. The spacemen grew emotional with anticipation, like small space girls floating in zero-g for the first time. Would the unlikely man who represented change and hope be named the new leader? Would the esteemed war veteran sneak back in the race and steal the day? Would the five mysterious write-in votes for Captain Bojangles somehow sweep the election? And then it happened. The news exploded through the airwaves and reverberated through the streets. Barack Obama is the next president of the United States. Barack Obama is the leader the spacemen have been seeking. Barack Obama is the leader inheriting the message of peace sent into the galaxy exactly 50 years ago by a man named Eisenhower. The blue party line climbed high into the sky toward the mothership, ushering the news of the new leader to galaxies beyond, while the dot on the surface of the Earth that is Washington, D.C. began to erupt. Time and spacemen did not stand still. They vibrated triumphantly. The leader of America, Barack Obama, in the White House. Thank God, bless God, he made it. All right, he made it. Do the thing. 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 Is this really the end? Is the mission of the spacemen over now that they finally found their leader? Did the mothership receive their message? Will the spacemen be welcomed home as heroes? Do the spacemen have a final message to deliver to the new leader of Planet Earth? Log in next time for the epilogue.
It's not just the U.S., it's the entire world that is behind this man, and that is such a powerful thing.